point in the fight, maybe in the fourth round, he didn't go down, but he was very hurt. And if he would, would have gone down in that round, that means that it would have been a draw. So it was, uh, I see, it was from one punch away of uh, keeping the title, maybe. Sean, there was two times it looked like your glove touched the canvas. Uh, and on a TV broadcast, they were saying it was knockdowns. Did you feel you were hit by a punch when that happened? That was a punch, but I said that was a slip because uh, the canvas was really slippy. So Bernard never hurt me, and that was really on this uh, slip. Jean, évidemment, les deux camps. A lot of the times, uh, Bernard Hopkins mentioned uh, in different conferences that he finished a lot of the careers of different fighters. Do you think he affected you in any way, or do you think you're going to come back even stronger? You'll you'll show him the difference. He uh, affected he affected me in a good way because right now I'm more complete, I'm more mature, and uh, because of Bernard, I will become a better boxer. Uh, you kept making reference uh, in the pre fight hype after the last fight that how you fade in the ninth and tenth round. Do you feel you coming on as strong as you did in the twelfth? Is that a victory in itself for you? <laughs> Uh, not really, because I know I'm not a four-round fighter, so, mm -hmm. so so I know I can finish strong. I just sh sh show it today. Uh, last fight, uh, something happened during the fight. That's why maybe I failed. But I made a good fight. It's just every every time I throw, is to hurt people. And uh, maybe I have to try to manage that and be a little bit more slick. But like I said, I. I'm only 28, I'm a young champion, and I will be back stronger. Russ, and again, give credit to Bernard Hopkins, he's a phenomenal. C'est un vraiment un phénomène. Russ, a quick one here. Um, when we were in Quebec City, even after the fight, you, you had told us, leading up to that fight, watch out for Bernard Hopkins, forget the 45, almost 46. Um, what did you expect to see, and what turned out that you saw in the ring that from Bernard tonight was this what you expected you get some surprises there no I, I don't think there was really any surprises what I thought was Hopkins was going to try and come out and, and, and make a statement and I think every time you know the the talk of uh, especially what he said in New York and I, I don't think that has to be repeated now but everyone is aware of that um, I certainly don't think he came out and did that I think he pot shot it and then every time Jean tried to turn it into a fight he just grabbed and held and uh, you know, uh, I think he nullified Jean a lot and, 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 and stole some rounds. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to have to watch it again. But I certainly didn't feel the the score the way the, the judges had it. Uh, I, I, I thought Jean was, you know, uh, the aggressor for the better part of the fight. I thought the, the cleaner shots, uh, Jean landed some of the cleaner shots. He certainly hurt. I'll hand it over to you about next week. Uh, we call it. But first, I, I, I like to thank um, um, everybody in Canada who gave me the respect and um, watched the fight. I hope it was what y'all wanted. I hope it was what y'all expected. Um, you got to take your head off to Pascal. I think that he is, 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 is a quality and, and, and respectful uh, champion. One day he will be um, um, one of the ones that stay around for a long time if he takes this lesson. Um, in his school and in his uh, university that he uh, of education that he experienced tonight and then you know I, I say this to everybody I don't know what y'all expect me to come up here and say I told you so and all of that you know I, I, I'm, I'm too old for this, that stuff uh, only thing I want to say in 39 my man 39 my way where he had he in the house with his wife yeah. 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 He don't want to be called, I don't know his age, but he says 39, so I, I believe him. Um, when you come out on a song, and I say that to say this, when you come out on a song, you hear different people have different slogans, Richard, and they say, well, Bernard, coming out on My Way by Frank Chanaz. I mean, that's the song My Way that everybody in this room, I assume, know, that you can't just come out with that song without having a legacy or some type of meaning behind that person who's playing that song. And that... That song, My Way, uh, is a real profound uh, song for my life and the way I feel, not only in boxing. Uh, because a lot of people think it has to be their way because they're opinionated, and that's great. Everybody's entitled to have their opinion. But I wasn't going to come in here and be a dog. I wasn't going to come in here and just get a check. I wasn't going to come in here and just exploit and just hustle boxing. You can't hustle boxing. 
And so anybody that comes in this game and think they can stay in this game and just hustle a check is a fool. My life is more important than that. If I want to box until I'm 50, long as fight by fight, I come out uh, unscaled, uh, uh, not beat up and not damaged. Um, I can fight as long as I want to, as long as I'm hungry to fight and train um, for seven to eight, sometimes nine weeks. And so I'd like to thank everybody for enjoying history. I got a call from George Foreman through Richard Schaefer, and he made a great comment uh, about my legacy. And um, he also said that he might come out of retirement now. <laughs> to, to work on. But I'd like to thank everybody, man. I mean, I'd like really thank everybody. I know it's like I'm rambling, but I'd like to thank everybody to let them know that, you know, I'm cut from a different cloth. And when I say cut from a different cloth, a lot of people in here, especially in the United States, um, uh, writers know when I say that, they know what I mean. Because the Dan Raphaels, the Tim Smiths, um, the Kevin Iola, they, them, they called me uh, old school five, six, seven years ago. I mean, we in 2011, but they remember calling me old school fighter because I come from Philly. But I've learned how to preserve myself. And that's why y'all see me at 46 years old. Doing what I do is not because I'm doing anything magical. It's because I'm disciplined. I was disciplined in my 20s. I'm disciplined in my 30s. And I just invested in myself to hit, not get hit. And sometimes it's boring, y'all. Sometimes y'all want to see the knockout, drag out type fights. I can do that if I want to. I mean, y'all seen that many times from me before. But I am come from a school of hit, not get hit. And to some people, it's boring. So I've been criticized. But now that I'm at this stage of my career, it's the ninth stage or tenth stage of my career. I've been around a long time, so I think I'm at my tenth stage. Is that I'm going to give y'all what y'all want, and I'm going to still not get hurt. Because I feel now that I might as well let all out the bag, because I can't fight until I can't fight anymore. I won't. I'm too smart for that. But I'm going to give y'all I think it, it rates up that high to the point where um, they went to rewrite the book on Bernard Hopkins. Uh, to be 46 years old in any sport and compete, but when, not to compete, just to say you was there. There is a big difference in people analyzing um, um, this accomplishment. I'm closer to 50 than 40. And, and you know, I know a lot of 46-year-olds and they ain't bad shape, they never took a punch. Not you, Carrie, you in great shape. I carry from HBO, he's in great shape. Trust me. I want to get him, he's in great shape. Trust me, I, I, I seen him work out. But I, I just feel, man, that a, a lot of it is genetics, a lot of it is taking care of myself, and just just believing in yourself. I mean, health and awareness, man. I'm, I'm the poster boy on taking care of yourself. And um, I hope everybody that I am something special. And when I leave, I hope you all miss me. <laughs> you wrote the last chapter of Bernard Hopkins. Uh, when the movie is coming out, that's what I want to know. You. Well, it's a guy named 39 over there named Artie Reagan. Right there. He has a big checkbook. You got to ask him. Congratulations. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Dan. I want to ask you one thing about the fight itself. What was up with the push up in the uh, seventh round? I mean, I, there you go. You, you're not that kind of guy usually in your fight. You know, you know, do that sort of thing. What was, what was I've, I've changed for the worst of my whole age. <laughs> you know, you know, and, you know, the being, you know, I don't do that. Then, you know, he was like, wait a minute. He's just like, I, I just felt, man, that that I had to show this guy that he was fading and I was getting stronger. And so while he was trying to take his break and doing what he was doing, I wanted not to sit and wait for him to do this. I wanted him to see me doing something and say, this guy's crazy. He's doing push-ups. <laughs> you know, I'm the king of mind games. Okay. Now, when I got up, I said, man, did I just do five push-ups? <laughs> Punch him. And, and he looking this way, looking that way, and he, he launched off rockets. And uh, we'll, we'll come out to support Bernard Hopkins. I got a lot of fans here. I mean, and... Um, you know, Yvonne Michelle did a great job with Richard and working out the promotion and promoting the fight, and it was packed house. Mark my words, he will be champion. He will be champion within a year or less because he has the goods to do it, and he should learn something from this fight because he has the talent to do it. And I told him that in the ring. He has the talent to do it. But he has to work on the things that I feel, and I don't want to be a trainer here, but I always give. Like I gave Kelly Pavlik in, 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 in our fight, you see me talk to him in the corner. 
he loads up on every shot, and I know that Pascal does that. And so when he loads up on every shot because he knows he's a puncher, he thinks he's a puncher, and he wants to blow the house down like the big bad wolf. But if you walk down a hill, you can screw all the pigs down there. You can screw all the shit. <laughs> but he's so excited. He's so excited. He's so excited with the old timer is telling him, wait a minute. Why don't you just creep down there and you can get all of them? <laughs> but he's so excited and you know, the testosterone is going so high and he's so young and he wants to boom, he wants to boom. And and and, and, and the old fox. The old fox. We were there. We were there to see it and it's one of those nights which we will never forget. And as you all walk out of the stadium, remember that. Thank you. Right, the WBC wants to thank uh, Bernard Hopkins for being one of the greatest champions and it was a great, great night. And I think we all should congratulate him. Everything that he says is the embodiment of what life in boxing should be. And I'm telling you, I'm very, very proud to be here. We should all feel the same. I also have a plaque over here for Bernard, actually, and for Golden Boy Promotions over here. Obviously for the light heavyweight title fight over here, and again, this probably should go to Bernard more than anything else. I look too. But I want it. No.